You see the handle get kind of high. It starts to navigate away from my body. So what can be a really simple fix for this, obviously it might not be for everybody, but it's a great starting point because it's very, very simple, is making some golf swings where I feel like my hands and the grip of the club are working more into my body. <laughs> Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to eliminate the heel of an iron. We know that nasty shot that we get when we do hit it in the heel with an iron. I'm going to give you an intention and also a great drill that will help you to never hit it in the heel of your iron again. But before we get to that, I've really enjoyed bringing this free content to you. In our YouTube community, it's growing. And I'm excited about that and I want it to continue to grow and you can help me by, with that by liking this video when it's over, subscribing to my YouTube channel, thanking me, which is a great new feature. If this video helped your golf game, contribute to the ongoing success of my YouTube channel. And as always, comment. These things help in more ways than you know. Oh boy, help. The dreaded S word. All right, so what can we do to help you eliminate the heel of your iron? If you're somebody who tends to hit it in the heel, you are prone to seeing shots like that, like I just hit. So what are some steps we can take to eliminate this shot from our golf bag? Well, the first thing I want to do is let's de define what is the heel of the club. So easiest way to remember this is if I just take my club and I mirror my foot here, so the shaft would be my leg, and then this side where the, the heel, the shaft goes into the heel or the hosel of the club would be the heel end. You can see how it's near the heel of my foot. And then the other side would be the toe end. So if you just always remember that, it'll help you to identify the heel side. So it's the side of the club that's closest to us. It's where the shaft goes into the club head. That would be the heel side. Now, what is a way that I could even know that I'm hitting it in the heel? Like this is something we have to monitor. We might have no idea that that shot is coming from hitting it in the heel. Well, I'm gonna leave a link down below but everybody who practices or plays golf should have this Dr. Scholl's Odor X in their golf bag. You're out on the driving range, you, you spray it, whether you're using a wood, an iron, a wedge, it doesn't matter. It'll show where you're hitting the club on the club face. And we use this because it's a lot less invasive than those stickers that you put on the face. You put a sticker on the face, reduces the spin on the golf ball, ball doesn't curve as much, goes further. That's why you go to a fitting day, they have the tape on there, you hit it a mile, you get it home, you hit it without the tape on there, ball starts spinning again, that's why. So the tape's a little more invasive. This is minimal, minimally invasive, if, if it's even invasive at all. So get yourself some Dr. Scholl's Odor X. Has to be this yellow can. Walgreens, CVS, they have their own brand. It sprays clear, doesn't work. It's gotta be this yellow can. Dr. Scholl's and it sprays white, you'll be able to see where you're hitting the ball on the club face. Okay, so I get my Dr. Scholl's, it's in my golf bag, I go to the range, I spray the face, I'm hitting balls, definitely in the heel, every now and then I catch the hosel, I hit that S word out to the, the left or right, depending on whether you're left or right handed. What are some steps I can take to fix it? And the first one I'm gonna give you is more of a feel, more of an uh, intention, versus um, a drill. Um, but the, the next thing I'm gonna give you is more of a drill and it's, it's an easy one and it's one you'll be able to do uh, at your club tomorrow if, if it's something you decide that you need some help with. All right, so I got the face sprayed. Now one thing that I see with people who hit it in the heel, what happens is, is their hands get a little too far away from their body. The handle, you might even see the, the handle lift. If you put yourself on video, you see the handle get kind of high. It starts to navigate away from my body. So what can be a really simple fix for this, 
Obviously it might not be for everybody, but it's a great starting point because it's very, very simple, is making some golf swings where I feel like my hands and the grip of the club are working more into my body or like I'm going to brush my lead leg. My lead leg's my right leg. I play golf left-handed. If you're right-handed, your lead leg is going to be your left leg. So if I was a right-handed golfer, I'd feel that club, the grip kind of working more into my left leg. I am a lefty, so what I'm going to feel with this is I'm going to feel like that club is coming much more into my right thigh. I'm going to almost feel like I, I brush my right thigh uh, with, with my hands and with the grip of the club when I hit this next golf ball. So get out to the range, spray the face, you know you're hitting it off the heel. First thing to, to work on and do, normal backswing, just what you normally do, but just feel like that grip is working into your lead thigh and that should change the contact point on the golf club. So I'm going to set up, going at that tree dead straight ahead, and I'm just going to give it a little rehearsal swing to the top, kind of into my lead thigh, and let's see what we get. Yeah, and for me, I'll bring that over real quick. It's pretty center, but if anything, that's a little bit, maybe a dimple uh, towards the toe of where I, I normally hit it, maybe half a dimple, but it is definitely a little bit more to the outside of the club. So if I got really violent with this and, and really ripped it across, I would probably start hitting it in the toe. It's a great thing when I can find the other side of the club face because I can then self-discover and find the middle. So if I'm hitting it in the heel to start, start banging it off the toe, all right, I can kind of maneuver my way to find the middle of the club face again with my my trusty Dr. Scholl's foot spray. So that's one way if I know I'm somebody who hits it in the heel just working on getting that club and the handle and everything to move into my body more into that that lead thigh. What's another way if I'm somebody who hits it off the the heel a drill that I can use to stop that from happening and what I have here you can go into your, your golf shop wherever you are or here at Naples Grand and I'm sure they'd be happy to lend you a shoebox. And most of us probably have shoeboxes somewhere stashed away at home too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand this shoebox up and I'm going to put the ball right next to the shoebox. I'm going to get it lined up so I'm at my target. And I'm just going to put this ball right next to the shoebox and so fear factor is going to start to creep in here. Obviously none of us want to hit the shoebox so I'm inherently going to kind of work my hands in the club more into my body so it's going to help me to execute what I tried to do with the feel in the first uh, drill that we talked about and now this is just going to take it a step further and help me implement it. Through the years, I have seen teachers that you leave a lesson from them and they'll give you a two by four about this big that you could put in your bag that you stand up to the outside. During lessons here at Naples Grand, we have those ball boxes. I've taken and put in a ball box right next to the ball of somebody who tends to hit it in the heel. I've even taken the, the stands, the bag stands that are on the driving range. I've laid it down next to the golf ball. So you could be resourceful here. You can find other things to use. I think a, a shoe box is pretty easy to find. Most golf shops have it. Even a, a club box um, that they ship golf clubs in, you could use. So that would be the other way, the other drill that I would work on to help you eliminate the heel find the center of the club face. So let's try this for a couple swings. So I've got it. I think the important thing here is, is you want to get it close enough to the box that if I do hit it in the heel, I'm going to touch the box. And I've done this a lot. I've had people hit the, the box and the club just deflects. The, ball will, the box will fall over. It, it's not going to hurt you. You're not going to hurt it. So even though there's a little bit of fear factor going on, there's really nothing to be fearful of. So let's do this. I'm going to set up. I've got the distance of the ball away from the box and you could kind of inch your way in if you're a little skeptical at first and afraid of hitting the box. Start a little further away and as you get better kind of inch in a little bit closer. But ideally I want if I hit it in the heel I'm going to get some feedback from that box. Okay so here we go. I got the ball set up the way that I want to. My tree is my target out there and I'm going to set up. I'm going to work on 
striking the ball and, and not the box, hopefully. Cut it a little heavy, a little gun shy there. I'm going to bring this back so you can see it again. So here's where the fear factor kicks in. Probably one of the reasons I hit it heavy is you can see I caught that way out off the toe there. Um, so definitely helped me to pull my arms in and, and pull away from the box and, and learn what that sensation is. Let's give it one more try, see if I can execute a little bit better this time. So I've got my box, I got my ball right to the inside of it. What I'm working on is getting it off the heel, finding the center of the club face. If I can find the toe, that's great, that helps. Yeah, that was better. That's more my, my typical shot right there. And just bringing it back so you can see again, you can see we're, we're right in the center of the club face there. So just a few things. If you're somebody who tends to hit it in the heel, get yourself some Dr. Scholl's, prove it to yourself that, hey, I am somebody who hits it in the heel, see shanks occasionally, and then start with the first one. Hey, I'm going to make some swings where I just feel the club working into my body, into that lead leg more that doesn't quite do it still seeing too much in the heel get yourself a two by four a ball box a shoe box a club box something put it to the outside of the golf ball it'll help you to find the center of the club face very quickly so now you know how to eliminate the heel of an iron i gave you a great feel those hands the grip working into that lead thigh as well as a drill take a shoe box Take a club box, a ball box that's already on the range, put it just to the outside of the golf ball, work on getting it off the heel, see if you can find the toe of the club, see if you can find the center of the club, and it'll eliminate that heel for sure. So I have two more videos playing here right now that I promise will continue to help you improve your game. Remember, please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, thank me, and comment.